I want to talk about cheaters. We all know that cheating in Tarkov at the moment feels bad. I don't know what to tell you, dude. All right, guys. I'm going to be looking for some other shit to play for the day. I'm probably going to jump on some Sea of Thieves and kick back. I think I'm done with Tark. I think it's over for me. And I don't know if that's because there's more cheaters or the game itself is having issues that make things feel weird or what have you. I know we've seen plenty of clips of cheaters flying around and we've seen plenty of clips the face shield pop 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 you know we've seen all those i want to talk about a a bigger picture issue and the confidence of tarkov if cheating is as prevalent as we are led to believe it is every single player versus player interaction in tarkov becomes questionable if everybody thinks everybody is cheating then the confidence in the game itself is going to evaporate. I played Daisy over this a hundred times over. Because at least Daisy doesn't punish you for participating in the main part of their fucking video game. Nope, they just punish you and everything else. And confidence. Confidence for a game like Tarkov is incredibly crucial. There are no kill cams. There are no like death recaps, actually. You just see, oh, I got shot in the chest, head, arm, whatever. There's no super detailed like locations, whatever. As a player, you need to have the confidence in the game itself that what just occurred to you is, you know, possible. And when that confidence evaporates, people reporting things that aren't cheating, but feel like cheating and leading to potential false bans. He reported him in the game and he also made a clip and sent it to BSG. I don't really blame him. Uh, watching the way he died, I probably would have done the same. But I think as a community and as uh, as people that enjoy Tarkov, we want to believe that what we're seeing on the screen is real. We want to believe that what we're seeing is an above board legitimate interaction between players. And when either cheating or desync or the servers or whatever is is whittling away at that confidence just just a bad position that you don't want to be in where the community over time will simply either just report everything or just not play the game oh there's too many cheaters i hear that quite a lot uh on my streams i hear sick how, how do you run have you run into a lot of cheaters i ran into a flying guy here a flying guy there and me personally on my streams, s sussy things, s smelly things, for sure. Okay. Okay! What? Jeez, that was gross! I haven't run into anybody that's flying yet. Uh, I have run into a couple of headshot guys, for sure. And those are the blatant ones that will that you'll just have visual evidence right you'll just there it is that guy's cheating boom boom report it send it in etc it is the other forms of cheating that are less than detectable such as esp and walls those sorts of things that is the area that really erodes the confidence and a prime example of something like that is nice guy tweeting out the first guy to get kappa and the second you look at that guy's stats something is incredibly fishy whether or not he was that's kind of not the point obviously if he was cheating like it, it's it's awful but the point is if we don't have full confidence that he wasn't cheating because of bsg and battle eyes either lack of doing things against cheaters or just ineptitude or inability to do things whatever whatever a multitude of reasons why bsg and battle i uh can't do things against cheaters right what if he's real right he really got kappa and everybody or not everybody but a lot of people think something is up with that i think that's bad for the community and bad for the game itself if cheating wasn't as prevalent or people weren't interacting with cheaters as much then you could potentially believe this story although i don't believe it but that's besides the point i just think that over time the amount of cheating plus desync is going to lead to enough player confidence erosion 
that battle state games is going to have a really big problem on its hands in rebuilding that confidence let me know what you think about cheating and desync and confidence in tarkov i would really love to know your thoughts because this is this is kind of a bigger picture thing that i have been kind of struggling with uh trying to phrase and get out i do think it's an important discussion and i think until we see a ban wave or uh bsg talk about some of the the exploits and cheaters that's happening i don't know if the confidence can be restored or will be restored but again let me know what you think about that uh as always make sure you're subscribed here on the channel Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and please let me know anything else you would want me to cover.